Well, welcome back on board. And uh, it's been one week of owning Tempest Fugit, which uh, is short, well, it's not short, it's, uh, it means time flies. And uh, she's a Beneteau Antares. Um, she's the Pesh model. So Pesh is French for fishing. So she is completely custom made for fishing. And there are so many good features on this boat that I'll go through um, over the course of uh, whenever um, that make this a really, really good fishing boat. I keep finding little things um, and they, they amaze me really about how well thought out this, this boat is. But we're in the wheelhouse and uh, I have been thoroughly cleaning everything. It was absolutely filthy, but she's got a lovely big windscreen and got a nice big Raymarine sharp plotter and radar that goes there. Side opening door just there. If, and in the manual that says that's for picking up your lobster pots or your damn boy. Lovely big captain's chair. And stepping out onto deck. It's got a great big space for fishing. Two seats at the back. I've got all the cleaning products out. All of this was green with algae when I got it. And thanks to the team that have come down to help me clean up because this is not a one person job to clean this. But it's a complete walk around. It's got a big space up front. There will be a windlass going on there for the anchor. But a massive fishing space up here. So it's a full walk around boat. We'll get some rod rests either side on the bow rails. Here's the side opening door again, taking us right round the back. Heading back towards the deck, it's got bait board on the back. Under the deck it's got live wells, it's got rod storage. Nice big opening door and some shelter under the canopy. Rod rests all around, a couple of seats for the anglers. Really, really well thought out, but a massive to-do list of things to do. So under that hood, obviously we've got the, the beating heart of the boat. It's a Volvo turbocharged diesel injection, which should give it a nice bit of speed and plenty of reliability. Just had to pop a new gear cable on there because as I bought it, pulled away and the gear cable snapped, which was ideal. Had to use the um, boat hook to then, <laughs> like a gear stick, to knock it in and out of gear as I was bringing the boat round, which is excellent, if the code allows. And then that'll be 360 fishing, so it's gonna be ideal for, for drifting the river and um, lure fishing. It's got a nice shallow draft as well, whilst also having quite a big keel for the size of boat that she is. So it will be uh, perfect for these waterways. And I have been um, with this sort of boat for about 18 months now. And it's just getting the right boat that we can really utilize this sport fishing around our coats. So I needed something that's going to drift well down the river. Um, so it's got little things, stupid little things. We like the exhaust is out of the water so it shouldn't disturb the fish that much. And it's got a shallow draft, um, but also it's got a nice keel on it. So it should be equally at home offshore as well. And um, these are known, um, not really well known in this country because they're pretty rare boats. Um, there's quite a few of them in Europe um, after I've done a bit of research, but it's the P model, the Pesh model, as I've said before. And um, it's really well kitted out for, for any type of fishing, really. It's got the hole in the back by the rudder for shooting pots. It's got the side opening door, picking up lobster pots and dam boys and things. So yeah, really happy with it so far. Um, massively stable. And um, fingers crossed, this will be the sort of the next stage of the next stage of the journey. So obviously, um, quite a few bits to do on the jobs list. I've been working hard this week, um, just mainly cleaning the grime and the, the bits off it, getting it up to scratch. Um, the bottom will need to be sandblasted. It's got about eight or nine um, layers of anti-foul on there. Then it's a bit of engine work. Give it a service. Give it one over um, valve clearances, that sort of thing. Um, and then it is time to go through the coding process and then the journey will really begin. But as you can probably tell in the background, the children love it, they're bouncing around on it. So uh, that's uh, more than 50% of the reason I got this. See you again.